Welcome back to Tom's Garage, boys and girls. It's gonna be a carburetor cleaning day. Yay! That last video I did on that pressure washer, I feel like I cheated y'all out of a good carburetor cleaning. So the carburetor that come off that pressure washer, I'm gonna clean it. They said it had a surge to it. So what we're gonna do, let's see, let me reach up here. I'm gonna grab some of this palm olive up here, boy. Hey y'all. Dump it all down my neck, down my chest. All right. All right. Well, I'll tell you, this is one cheap, floppy little tripod. All right. Let's see, I've already, you know, it's a lot quicker to fill this thing up with the hot water in the bathtub. This is the first time I used that bathtub, and I don't know how long. <laughs> All right, 41 degrees Celsius already. Well, that's good. I'm gonna bump it on up to about 50. All right, let that thing be, let that thing be warming up. All right, we're gonna do it for 30 minutes. Let's get some of this. I'm not sure how much to put in there, but. I'll say a little bit more than you would use for washing dishes. I'm gonna grab me a big old screwdriver and let's mix that up a little bit. All right. You know, somebody asked me, that guy on the carburetor cleaner I have on the shelf over there, somebody asked me if I could pour that in here Stuff right there. I'm thinking, no, nah, that'll be too caustic on that stainless steel tub. But it's been in that 10 gallon can for as many years as I can remember. And it deteriorated that can. I can't tell you how many years that's been sitting there, so I bet that would work pretty good. I wouldn't put it in there and put any kind of heat to it, but I bet if you put that in that ultrasonic and just turn it on just let it ultrasonic I bet that would work wonders I bet it I bet it would uh oh got a customer y'all hang with let's let let's let this thing heat up we're gonna clean this carburetor let it soak for half an hour hang with all right Let's get this carburetor taken apart. I just come to realize that, uh, oh yeah, that's pretty nasty. I come to realize when you let that thing heat up, you need to leave the lid on it. I helped that fella that pulled in a while ago when I came back in here, it was actually lower temperature than it was when I turned it on. But it didn't do 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 do. Is that needle stuck? Nope, good. All right, let's get a little squirt. Get the jet and the emulsion tube out of there. I'm not gonna worry about getting that gasket out of there. It shouldn't hurt it. I hate trying to get these out. Come on, baby, fall out for me. All my friends are watching. <laughs> there it goes. Oh. Oh, there goes the emulsion tube. All right. 
could just out of there have access to that idle circuit. All right. All right, and there we are. Blowing through good. Give a little preliminary cleaning. All right, let's grab the basket. Now they're cutting the grass across the street of the apartment. So I tell you, it is one busy day around this neighborhood. Can it all? All right. This battery in this camera is just about dead. All right, the jet goes in there, or motion tube goes in there. Might as well throw these in there. What did I do with the float pin? Somebody stole it. They did. Somebody actually came in here while I was helping that guy and stole that wrist pin, float pin. Not a big deal, we don't have to put it in there anyway. Hmm. Oh, there, there it is. <laughs> All right. Let that bob around in there. We'll throw the needle in there too. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll throw the needle in there with it. They're next door trying to wrangle their dogs. Their dogs finally got out. They've been raising cane all day. <laughs> all right, in we go. It's 42 degrees Celsius, so it ought to be hot enough. I'm gonna leave the, I'm gonna leave the heater on. All right, I'll see you in half an hour there. Let's see what else. Did you throw in there anything else? Yep. We'll let this bob around in there. In about 15 minutes, I'm going to come and kind of turn everything. So float around, float. All right, here we go. Now we'll just sit here for the next 30 minutes. Just kidding. All right, y'all hang wheel. We're going to be right up back. All right, we are done. Ooh, look at that nice steamy bowl of carburetor soup. Boy, that bowl looks pretty good. Let me get over here to the workbench. Let's see, we'll turn that. Okay, everything's off. Well, I dribble water everywhere. All right. Yeah, that bowl right there looks like it comes nice and clean. Yeah, look at there. Wow, I'm impressed. I am impressed.
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was nice. Got a schnell full of that. All right. Other than a little piece of gasket there, I mean, it looks it looks very clean. I like that. Nice and open. Yeah, all that come off there. That's really good. I am impressed with this. Okay. Okay. I'm a believer. Reason for the air hose. <laughs> All right, there we go. Now all we need is something to put it on to see if it runs. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I, that, I am really, really impressed with that. Well, all right, boys and girls, there is my first carburetor cleaning in my new ultrasonic cleaner. I'm gonna leave this concoction in there. Yeah, you see all the stuff at the bottom. Hmm. I'm gonna leave that in there. I bet I can use that two or three more times. All right. Nice clean carburetor. Well, all right, boys and girls. Thanks for watching another clean video. Got to use my ultrasonic cleaner. 
Now maybe one day soon we'll find an engine to put that on and test it. But man, that thing come really impressively clean to me. I am very, very impressed. Well, take your vitamins and eat your vegetables. Tell somebody I love them. Tell somebody I'm looking for them. No, I don't do that. Well, by golly, boys and girls, love y'all to death, man. We will catch y'all on the next one. Love y'all.